Greetings, people of YouTube. Ducking Creepers here, and I am pretty sure I am the first Enderman who has ever swam. Do I get an invisible cookie? Or better yet, a real cookie? No? I see how it is. For those who are wondering, this is a set of Nightfall armor. It makes you look a lot like an Enderman, and you craft it from Titan Hide, which is dropped from Titans, who are pretty much the most OP hostile that will spawn. They're fairly rare, but I kinda went hunting for them between episodes, managed to find like three of them, as well as an ender golem. You need ender golem horns to make the nightfall sword, which goes with the armor. It's not really necessary, but I got attacked by an ender golem in my explorations. Just back away slowly. You having fun? SURPRISE! So I should probably go over all the things I've been doing between episodes. I built a workshop. It's pretty awesome. I built- I took a brief trip to the nether with a temporary portal so I can get a bunch of netherrack for making furnaces. I haven't done much in the nether so I'll be sure to do that in a future video when I really go there and start exploring and stuff. Anyway, I also moved all my storage into this big box here. It's a storage crate from Better Storage. Basically, it acts kind of like a multi-block chest where you right-click and it displays a random collection of the items stored in it. It has this little bar to tell you how much of its capacity is full. Pretty useful. Early game storage system. And I finished the blood altar area and I built a little road out of shale that goes between them. So well, let's head in, shall we? Can you get out of my door, please? For some reason, all the Farlanders have decided they want to congregate in here. I think I'm just gonna sacrifice them at some point and steal their life essence. Their life blood shall be mine and they don't suspect a thing. Blood magic, here we go. Boop. Nom nom. So this is the blood altar. For those who aren't familiar with it, it is the starting item for blood magic. You're gonna need one of the altars, and you're gonna need a sacrificial knife. You craft a blood altar with four stone, two gold ingots, and a diamond, and a furnace. The sacrificial knife, you craft it like this. An iron ingot, a gold ingot, and five glass. Of any color, if you're playing with random things, apparently. You're gonna need those two items to start with the mod, and you're also gonna need another diamond, which I stupidly didn't bring, so let me go get that. GET OUT OF THE WAY! Seriously, get in there. If you're going in, just go in. I love how my armor actually gives me Enderman particles. Awesome. So, in blood magic, LP acts as the amount of your magical energy, and they are stored in your personal soul network. Sounds pretty fancy, and I hope watching me do it will explain it well. But yeah, to get LP, you essentially stab yourself with the sacrificial knife. It's pretty great. Then you have to painstakingly regenerate. Don't worry, stabbing yourself does no damage to armor or anything else. You just gotta sit around and wait for yourself to heal. There we go. The weak blood orb. This creates my soul network, and I can't really look in my soul network yet because I don't have a divination sigil. But basically when I plop this down on an altar, it'll charge my soul network from the altar's LP pool. The things you can use LP for once it's in your soul network are sigils, spells, rituals, all of which we'll probably get to at some point in the let's play. Yeah, one of them fell in the water. Do I have any glass for making a divination sigil? I don't know if I have any glass left. Uh, yes, I do. Good. Need a piece of smooth stone. There it is. Okay, so actually I'll keep a bunch of the smooth stone on me. A lot of blood magic items require slates, which can be made by imbuing smooth stone with LP. 
This is the first sigil you should be making if you're gonna play with blood magic. No, malware bites. I do not want to update right now. I'm trying to record a video! God. So unprofessional. Oh, great lord Chewbacca. Please accept this offering of my blood and give me powers of the force. So I may use thy force magics for justice. Our Chewbacca, who art in Tatooine, hallowed be thy fur. Thy falcon come, thy gun be shot on earth as it is in Tatooine. Give us this magic, our daily force, and forgive us our stupidities. As we forgive those who are stupid against us, lead us not false Wookiees and deliver us from Ewoks. Amen. There we go, that's the Lord's Prayer of Chewbacca, everybody. And he is the official god of blood magic. And I need to go to sleep, even though it doesn't really matter, because I have night vision and armor that's good enough to wreck most things anyway, but it's all good. I like day better. Makes me feel good about myself. Let us make the sigil. Okay, so, now that I have a divination sigil, I will be able to look inside of both blood altars and my own soul network to see how much LP is there. And we have 600 LP in the altar. Using a divination sigil on altars will also tell you what tier they are, which we'll get to eventually. I'll just continue charging my soul network. Don't mind me just stabbing myself over here. Such fun. Much mod. Very Chewbacca. Get off. If you are using this mod, the red particles coming off of something means that the infusion process you're doing is working. I think the weak blood orb, when you have it, the network capacity is 5,000? In the meantime, let's take a look at what other sigils we'll be able to make. Alright, so with the weak blood orb, I can make the water sigil, and the lava sigil. Although the lava sigil's pretty expensive. By the way, if anyone knows how lava crystals work, do tell in the comments. I've been trying to get them to work in SMP before, and they don't. I don't know why. Well, we're waiting for me to heal from stabbing myself repeatedly. Why don't we get started on another building thing, the, the berry farm. I actually ran around and tried to get one of each berry bush in between episode in addition to the raspberries so I can make berry salad, or whatever they're called. I'm gonna make it out of peridotite and bushes. Yeah. It's gonna be a circle in Minecraft. Because I'm just that awesome for... Make everything roughly centered in a chunk. Making circles. That always goes so swimmingly. What am I doing? Being a nubby nubby nub nub. Good job, duck. Unprofessional! It's a good thing I have an editor now, because this episode would suck so much. I have so little to say. Whoever made these circle guides, you are amazing. We'll make it radius 15. Okay. Five. And another one over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I broke my shovel. Good job, Doc. I gotta go make another shovel. Stupid. Going to the workshop, gonna make a shovel once I get some iron. And some sticks. Iron shovel, iron shovel, because I don't have enough diamonds yet. One of these days I will be good at this game, I promise. Sleepy bye. These stupid mother fluffers are always drowning themselves. Like you think their pathfinding would work a little better than it does. I have to say, this is probably the prettiest explosion of any Minecraft mod ever. They're pretty pretty, man. You know what I'm saying? Sure you know what I'm saying. 
the most derpy looking thing ever. It'll look good when it's done, I promise. But, you don't believe me? Do you not have faith in your duck... Your ducker of creepers? Hey, I'm a duck and I'm digging some dirt. Diggy diggy dirt. Digging some dirt. Hey guys! Wanna help me build? Considering they're wanderers, they don't wander around very much. They just cluster around over there like they have nothing better to do with their lives. Yay! Now once I have enough bushes, this is gonna look awesome. Why did I do that? Seriously? Stupid. Just watch how fast leaves decay. Good job, FTB team. That's balanced. I don't know why that happens, but I do know it makes berries grow stupidly fast because they use that same algorithm, whatever one it is. What's your deal, FTB? What you doing? Causing shenanigans? I would like to apologize for being so incredibly uninteresting when I'm by myself. On an adventure we shall go, but it's okay because you can't get lost when you have mini-maps. Go mini maps. Magic wood. You'd think it, since Biomes of Plenty's generation is not enabled, it wouldn't use Biomes of Plenty woods. Oh well, it lets me get all the woods that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise, which is nice. Great wood over here, and it's got spider webs. Why do you have spider webs? I kind of want the crafting table over there to match. I think we'll go with the ghost, because that's pretty cool. Should look good with the green. I'ma go stab myself a few more times to fill up my LPs. Yep, I was right. 5,000 LP in your first tier soul network. And... 10,000 is the base capacity of an altar. Ooh, spooky. Can only sleep at night. I call BS. Steve should be able to, like, take naps or something during the day. Or maybe he can be nocturnal. Did you ever think about that, Mojang? Did ya? Bet you didn't. Try making lockers. Because you just had to be difficult and not register your ordict stuff properly. Yeah. Why you gotta be so difficult, huh? Normally that would make a double locker, but you can actually have two on top of each other if you place them at different angles. Can you not? Pretty sure with this armor I can actually like look at Enderman and be fine, but I don't really want to test it. So, let's make a smaller inner circle out of ghost wood. Wow, that is really high contrast. The outline and the actual plank color, jeez. Make more crafting tables for sake of symmetry. I'll make this middle bit and have a locker that sits on higher ground and houses bowls and bowls combining all the berries. Okay. Now we got the basis of the berry farm going. We got the workshop, we got the blood altar. I know this wasn't very interesting. I probably should have made the third episode when I was going titan hunting, because that was a bit more interesting, but... Oh well. I'll work on the pathway in between episodes and try to get the stuff so I can really hit the blood magic next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if I was kind of boring in this episode. See you in the next video of Magic World 2! Now with fancy Enderman costume. Bye!